this is day 14. I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who has been watching, or if this is the first video that you've watched in this series, thank you so much for watching this too. The biggest thing for me is that this momentum does not end here. For right now, I don't think I'm gonna be making a video start to finish every single morning like I have been doing, but I am planning on waking up at the same time every morning and working on more produced, longer form videos to start building my audience here on YouTube. That's my plan right now, but this is a great example, I think, of something that I can go back to if I ever feel like I'm getting in a rut or if I feel like I haven't put out anything in a while. I can maybe spend a week doing videos every day and get that routine started back up again. All right, so shifting gears. I know I've talked a lot about filming on your smartphone and starting to make videos. This is just another reason why I think that People should be focusing on lighting and sound equipment before they focus on camera equipment. It seems to be quite a bit more cost effective to focus on lighting and sound because the technologies aren't moving as quickly. For me, looking at equipment, it's all about future proofing and workflow. So I try to buy equipment when it makes most sense for my business. Sometimes that means quality and sometimes that means buying equipment that might save me time when I'm editing video. Getting a great sounding audio feed saves a ton of time. Even here in this room where we haven't done much sound treating at all yet, and it sounds horrendous, this microphone that's sitting right here could be usable if I needed it to be without any additional editing. And as far as lighting goes, if you have great quality light, even if you're shooting on a cell phone, it's going to look great. Have you ever seen video shot on your phone when you're outside, when there's a lot of light, maybe it's real sunny outside, and you said, wow, the quality of this looks really good. That's the same thing I'm talking about here. When you have really great quality light, it doesn't make a difference as much what kind of sensor, what kind of lenses you're using, but any kind of camera can make that scene look great. And pretty good lighting and sound equipment doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. There's some really great budget options and I plan on doing a video coming up within the next couple weeks about that very thing. All right, I guess that's it for me. This is day 14. This is the end of this challenge that I have done for myself. Keep an eye out in the next couple days for a kind of a reflection video on the things that I learned, the challenges that I came up against uh, during making these videos, and talking more about if you might want to be trying something similar to what I've done. All right, I, I guess I'll see you uh, around the internet. I've really always been terrible at goodbyes. Goodbye.